Louisville is giving seven points to Davidson in a 13-4 matchup. Both of these teams were solid bets on the year. Louisville was 18-13-1 against the spread, and Davidson was 17-13 against the spread. Davidson was also a strong overtrender at 19-11 over-under on the year. Louisville had a notably rough regular season, dealing with a lot of injuries, which is not an easy thing to have to deal with in the Big East, and it forced them to, to uh, alter their style of play a bit. But they became a new team in the Big East tournament in March, and they returned to their preferred pressure style of defense, and they wound up winning four in a row in the Big East tournament. They didn't have the manpower to play that way for much of the regular season, and they often defaulted to their opponent's styles, which in the Big East often means deliberate and a slower pace. But they did look very much rejuvenated and potent in the Big East tournament, and they may make a very deep run uh, in the NCAA tournament. Seven points, though, is a lot to give to a mid-major powerhouse like Davidson, who did beat Kansas outright this season. With a faster pace, though, this game might be a good bet on the over, and we might see a final score similar to what we saw in Louisville's Big East tournament game against Marquette, another team that tends to play very high-scoring games when left to their own devices, and similar to Davidson's games against Duke, Kansas, and Wichita State, all of which were very high-scoring as well.